Tonight, 100 career wins for Junior Sawyer Ayotte. Tonight, a look back on his 100 wins from day one to last Wednesday night. And in other news, the boys played in another close game. With only a few left, the Rams look for another win. Where do they stand in the power rankings and who scored the most points against Groton Dunstable? On the court in girls basketball, they faced off against Groton Dunstable as well and put up huge numbers. What were the biggest numbers they scored? Which quarter did they score them in? And who are the people that scored those points? And in national sports tonight, Jim Harbaugh signed a five-year deal with the Chargers and the coaching carousel continues. From Shepherd Hill Regional High School, this is Shepherd Hill Sports Zone with Cameron Simpson. Hello everyone and thank you for ending your week with us on Shepherd Hill Sports Zone. We have a lot to cover today including some incredible news out of our wrestling program as well as our basketball teams who are, as we're on air, getting set to play in another match. But we start tonight with wrestling and Sawyer Ayotte, a junior here at Shepherd Hill who accomplished something incredible. He still is got a year left in wrestling which makes this even more great. Sawyer Ayotte, a junior here at Shepherd Hill, has reached a milestone this week, definitely very notable. Sawyer has been with the program since the 2020-2021 season and has had success ever since that year. In his first season, according to flowwrestling.com, Sawyer did not get a win in the four matches he competed in in that very first season, but by his next season, his freshman year, things would definitely change. In that 21-22 season, Sawyer competed in 30 events, winning 19 out of the 30 he competed in. Into the next season, he went even further. His sophomore year last year, 62 events he competed in, and he was able to have a record of 43 and 19. He even headed to he even went to the Division I Championship, finishing second in his individual event, and as the team, they all finished 10th. And then this season, still active. He so far has had a record of 33 and 7 and on track to end another year with an extremely amazing record. Then on Wednesday night was the moment he hit his milestone. You've seen this picture, the team gathered around with the sign to honor him and his 100th win. This incredible accomplishment, and we mentioned it at the start. He's only a junior. Still a chance that he can even go higher up and go even more numbers, and we'll see what he can do. But from all of us here and the athletics and here at Sports Zone, we want to congratulate Sawyer Ayotte and the entire wrestling program on 100 wins by Sawyer. Then to varsity basketball. The Rams face Groton Dunstable, the Crusaders, for the second time this season. In the game, 28, were, 28 points were scored by Lucas Miglianico, leading the team once again. Alexander Lanford was second in the team scoring, putting up 11 points. Then Zach Wenningberg, who scored eight points in the win. Reed Zella scored three, Luke Poirier had two. The close game stayed competitive throughout, but it was the Rams who bounced back to win the game after a low scoring one and a high scoring one, 52 to 49 in the final. The second time they beat Groton Dunstable, uh, the Rams are now 10 and three with this win and are 13th in the MIAA power rankings as of this morning. And as we're on the air right now, the Rams are in Neshoba. They will play the Wolves for the second time this year. The first time was assessed with the Rams winning by one. Uh, by 10 actually I believe I don't believe it was one I believe it might have been a typo there in, in, in the script the road ahead for the Rams has one more home game next Tuesday and then three road games before they head to the annual Clark tournament which of course we'll be watching all of that and that the girls of varsity team they played the Crusaders Friday night and had a great night for the second time this season the Rams took control Versus Gron. In the first quarter, they led 11 to 6, and by halftime, after putting up a whopping 22 points in the second quarter, they led 33 to 12. In the second half, the Rams would score 18 more points to propel them to a 51 29 point win. Ashley Dickot led the team in scoring Friday. Her six field goals and one three point shot and two free throws led her to a grand total of 15 points. Then, it was Heidi Giras who put up 12 points, followed by Jaisi Santiago who scored 10. Next, next is Fitchburg. The Rams beat them back in December 49 to 20. And as we're on right now, they're playing them in the home gym. They're hoping to do the same. Then they head to Oakmont on the road. And then they have their long homestand of the season. The Rams will play three straight home games. 
they only have six games left. Two road, three away. Uh, sorry, three home, two uh, on the road. And then they head for their big tournament in Westboro around the same time as the Clark tournament. And then we'll see about playoffs. Finally, tonight in the national sports, Jim Harbaugh, who you might know him for his national championship with Michigan. He was once the 49ers head coach, then he went to college, and he's back in the NFL, and he will be with the Los Angeles Chargers, who recently fired their head coach after a not-so-great season. Harbaugh is reported to be hired in a five-year deal, and he'll get to coach Justin Herbert in his brand new team with the Chargers. We'll be interested to see what he does with it. And we'll be watching that story all season. Congratulations to him. And the coaching carousel continues with Bill Belichick not getting the Atlanta Falcons job, which was reported by many people. Instead, it will go to a defensive coordinator who will land that job. So the job's still open. The Commanders, the Seattle Seahawks, and the Panthers, though they are believed to still have their guy. And I might've missed someone in there as well. Thank you all for watching us tonight. We'll see you Monday. Good luck to our teams this weekend. And we'll see you again Monday to start another week. Till then, have a great night. Good night. Thanks for watching Shepherd Hill Sports Zone, the only place for Ram Sports News.